Hey guys, it's Kimber and welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited because I'm finally going to achieve a milestone in my life that I have been looking forward to for a couple of years now. I am going to Mount Fuji! Yay! So today is July 16th. It's a Sunday here in Japan and it is around 9 a.m. in the morning and I am just getting up for the day and getting ready to head out to go to Mount Fuji. I am really excited about this hike and I've been thinking about going on it for the longest time and one of the exciting um, most important parts of going to Mount Fuji happens way before you even step foot at the fifth station and that that is packing. I have watched many, 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 many videos in preparation to go to Mount Fuji, and so I thought I would share with you guys what I'm going to be taking with me on the hike all the way to the top. So let's get into it. So first and foremost, this is something I'm not packing necessarily in my bag, but I will be wearing it with me on the trip. That is my pair of hiking boots. I thought it was very important to get a good pair of boots. These have the steel toe and they are Gore-Tex, so they're going to keep my feet safe from the supposedly super sharp rocks on Mount Fuji's terrain, and it'll keep my feet dry in case of rainy weather, which I hear is very, very common and sometimes unavoidable on top of the mountain and on your hike. If you are going to get a new pair of shoes like I did, please try them out a couple of times before actually wearing them on the hike. Brand new boots tend to give you blisters, so make sure you wear your boots about three or four times before actually taking them on the hike, because I feel nothing could be worse than having this pain just every step you take on your foot, all the way to the top and all the way back to the bottom. But yes, first and foremost, please bring a good pair of shoes. Second thing that I'm going to be taking with me is an actual hiking backpack. So this is my North Face hiking backpack. It is around 30 to 35 liters, I believe. If you're going to Mount Fuji, I believe it's recommended to get 30 to 40 liters for that hike because of the bulk of things that you're going to need to bring on the hike with you. I really like this bag and why I think it's necessary to get an actual hiking bag is because there's many of convenient pockets that open up and you can grab things out quickly that you need. If you need a snack break, you can put snacks in here. If you need your rain gear, you can put it on top so it's easily accessible. Instead of having to put your backpack constantly, put your backpack down constantly and dig through everything um, just to get that one thing that you really needed. I would definitely think about either renting or purchasing your own hiking backpack for this trip. Third thing I'm going to be packing from this hike is many, 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 many different layers of clothing. So it's important to know that if you're coming to Japan and you're gonna hike Mount Fuji, the hiking season is starting in July and I believe it ends around um, end of August or early September. And these are all very hot months and very humid months in Japan. Um, right now in July today, it is 36 degrees Celsius. It's very hot, it's very humid. Very different from what it's going to be at the top of Mount Fuji, which I heard it can get to around zero degrees Celsius. So in Fahrenheit, I believe that's actually negative um, temp degrees. So just be aware that you're going to be needing to put on a lot of clothing towards the beginning of the hike and when you go down the mountain you're going to be needing to take out a lot of clothing because the temp difference is just very dramatic. So to begin on my way to go to Mount Fuji today, this is what I am wearing. Just comfy, light, active wear, quick dry clothing. So I believe this is polyester and I believe the short or pants that I'm wearing right now, they are polyester. So I am going to wear those on my way to Mount Fuji. This is going to be my quote unquote base layer. I may be adding uh, more layers, but I'm going to add them underneath this because they are a little tighter 
than what I am wearing right now, which is very loose. So for the upper wear um, base layer, I have two pairs of heat tech. So when it starts to get colder, I am going to put these on underneath my clothing. I think that these will do well to keep me warm and also protect me from the sun. And then my other quote unquote base layer for underwear is just a regular pair of black leggings. I think this will help to keep me warm and like I said, protection from outside uh, weather. So the next layer after my base layer is going to be my warmth layer. So in here, I have two pieces of clothing. I have a down jacket and I have a down kind of like track pants that I wear in the wintertime to stay warm. Down is very, very, very light as you can see and it is very, very compact so you can make it very small. So it's perfect to keep you warm and to fit inside of your backpack. Third layer, which I'm most likely going to need, is my rain layer. So I have my rain gear to protect my backpack. So if it starts raining, this is just a cover for my backpack so it doesn't get wet and everything inside doesn't get wet. I think that's really important to have. And also my rain uh, jacket and my rain pants. So if it starts raining, I can quickly put this on and it can protect all of the layers that I'm wearing from getting wet. If they get wet, I'll get cold and it won't be very comfortable. So I think it's also very, very important to have a raincoat and a rain pants via what I've also heard on many, many, many videos because you don't really know what the weather is going to be when you go to Mount Fuji. So instead of risking it, please get a good rain jacket and good rain pants. And what I mean by good is probably stay away from secondhand um, rain gear. I have also heard that people have taken rain gear that is not so good and in the end did not help protecting them from getting wet. So very, very important. Please have your rain gear for both your body and your backpack. And then I have some stuff to protect my hands, my feet, and my head. So for my feet, I have a thin layer of socks and then I have my expensive pair of hiking socks. I believe these are some formulated blend like wool. They keep your feet dry and then I heard that putting a small thin pair of socks inside of your thick socks helps protect from blistering. So I'm gonna try that out because I'm really worried about my feet kind of rubbing in places that I don't like and I really, really don't want to have any blisters on this hike. I'm gonna go ahead and pack two pairs of different socks. For my head, I have three different hats here um, because I apparently, the warmth um, in your head is what keeps the rust of your body warm. So apparently it's really important to keep your head dry and to keep it warm. So first thing I have is a rain hat. This is gonna protect me from rain and it's also gonna protect me from the sun. Very important to have. But when I get to the top, it's going to get much, much colder. So just in case, I have a light beanie. Real quick, commercial break, not sponsored. Ugly Baby is a clothing brand for everyone. Um, they make beanies, they make streetwear, and lots of different things. Go ahead and check them out on Instagram or on their website, just type ugly baby in. You should be able to find this logo. Um, yeah, go ahead and check that out. I love this beanie. It is from a super amazing friend I met here in Japan. So if you would like to go and support her, ugly baby, go check it out. Back to your regularly scheduled video time. I'm going to bring a light beanie to keep my head warm. And then if that's not enough, um, I also brought a second beanie to stack on top of that because I'm really, really worried about being cold. And lastly, uh, to protect my hands, I have a pair of gloves. I think it's important to bring two pairs of gloves. I only have one. These ones are for climbing because I heard that a lot of sections of it, you're going to have to use every aspect of your body, not just your legs, but also your hands. Some parts are climbing. So it's important against those really rough rocks to protect your hands. So I have a pair of gloves for that. And then I am thinking about getting an additional pair of gloves to keep my hands warm. Okay, and that is it for clothing. So the fourth thing that I'm going to bring on this trip is money and not just any money. I'm going to bring only Hyakuen. 
This is very, very important because as I have heard from my research, um, watching videos online, blog posts online, websites, everything like that, you can only use the toilet on the mountain if you pay for it and they only accept um, hyakuen to do it. So what I've heard is it's very, very important to bring a lot of these. I'm thinking about bringing around Sengo Hyakuen, but um, just because it can get heavy having a bunch of these in your backpack. But um, I think it's also better to be safe than to be sorry. So I might end up bringing Nisen in a bunch of little 100 Hyakuens. And number five, since we're talking about money, Things on the mountain are going to be very expensive. Food, water. So instead of buying food on the mountain, I am going to bring a bunch of snacks with me. So firstly, I have two things of calorie meat. There are four sticks of like biscuit things in here. And in total, that is 400 calories. So it's really calorie dense, but it's also very, very light. And I have two of these just in case I need um, just something high in calories. I'm also going to be sweating a lot, so I'm going to lose a lot of salt in my body. So I figured I might want a salty snack on the way. So I have some um, just like chip snacks. They are very, very light and very, very cheap. And I think it is a good salty snack to help kind of replenish yourself. I also bought some nuts and dried fruit because the nuts will help give me energy and keep me full. But also I just want to have something that's like healthy and sweet with sugar to um, help my body out. And since they don't have trail mix <laughs> or not that I could find, I also bought M&Ms. So I'm going to pour these in here and I'm going to make myself some homemade trail mix for the way. As for liquid, it is very important to stay hydrated. So I wanted to be able to have um, as much water as I could possibly hold, but I didn't want to have the consequence of having very, very heavy bottles in my bag that also take up a lot of space in my bag. So I decided to purchase collapsible water bottles. I'm holding two now, but I have three total. These are 0.9 liter water bottles. It is recommended, I believe, that you should have at least a total of two liters of water. So I have three um, of these pouches total. I'm thinking about filling two of them with water. And then at the top of the mountain, if I need more water, I can simply purchase the water bottle and fill these up again and then give the trash to the vendor, which I bought it from. And you also just want to have like a sports drink to help replenish anything that you sweat out or lost in the process of the hike. So I also got this um, dissolvable Pocari sweat. So if I do happen to buy water at the top of the mountain, instead of lugging up a really heavy liquid bottle of sports drink, I can simply fill my collapsible water bottles with water and then add this and then I have a sports drink that I did not have to lug to the very top of the mountain with me. All right, six. So you just saw everything that I'm going to consume. And as a consumer, that means I'm going to have trash. And it's very important to remember that there are no trash cans, apparently. There are no trash cans anywhere on Mount Fuji. And not just on Mount Fuji, but also at the fifth station. So any trash that you don't want to carry up with you to the top of the mountain, please throw it away before you get on the bus to go to the fifth station or however you're getting to Mount Fuji. But because of this, we still have to bring some things with us and we're still gonna have trash. So it is important to bring a trash bag or a plastic bag, anything like this. I am bringing a plastic grocery bag and I am also bringing a Ziploc baggie because I think this could be good for trash. Anything that's stinky or gets everywhere, it helps keep things clean. And also if it's raining and you need something in a pinch, you can put it inside a Ziploc bag and that'll protect it too. So having either Ziploc bags or a plastic bag with you is very important for trash. Number seven 
If you are like me and you're going to be bringing multiple devices to the top of the mountain with you, it would be a good thought to pack a portable charger because you don't know how much you're going to be videotaping or taking pictures and it would just be the worst thing in the world if you were videotaping a video for Mount Fuji and your camera decided to die at the very end. So bring a battery pack and also any batteries you're going to need for devices that you have. I'm going to be bringing a couple of rechargeable batteries for my GoPro and and I'm going to bring a power, a battery pack for my cell phone. And speaking of batteries and things that need to be powered, this is my headlight. Please, 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 if you are going on the hike to see the sunset at the top, you will be hiking at night. And if you can't see, you're probably not going to be able to hike to the top. So please think about um, bringing a headlamp. And yes, a headlamp. Please do not bring anything handheld towards the 7th and 8th station. I heard the hike gets very difficult. You will be using your hands, so being able to have your hands free is very important. Comfort is very important, so please bring any prescriptions that you think you will need with you. I'm going to bring some ibuprofen, something for mild headache, mild body aches, and then also I saw that somebody brought um, Imodium. So if you're having a stomach ache, that's no fun. You know, you're not going to be able to climb to the top of the mountain with stomach issues. So in addition to bringing some ibuprofen, I'm going to bring some Imodium just in case you never know how your body is going to react to the different elevation and experience and fatigue and things like that. So bring any of those prescription medications and you're going to go a very long time with sweating but not showering, especially if you're not staying at a hut. So I'm going to bring some body wipes with me. This Will help keep me clean and if you happen to spill something or there's an accident and you need to wipe something up quickly it's always nice to just have a couple of wipes on you then i have some sports sunblock even if it's cloudy i think the higher that you go up the sun is going to be more and more and more intense and you don't want to be caught on a very very sunny day at the top of the mountain without sunblock it's nice to have that extra layer of protection. Depending on the day, it could be very windy on the mountain. So some people said to bring something to protect your nose and your mouth. So I thought just having a face mask with me would be helpful to kind of protect from any dust blowing up in the air on the mountain. And last, um, and it's simply last, just because I don't have it here with me, you should consider getting hiking poles. I have hiked a lot. I am from Arizona. I have hiked many, many, many a mountain, and I have never used hiking poles, but I think that's a huge mistake because going down the mountain is going to be very slippery. It's going to be a lot on your knees and a lot on your ankles. Having those poles will give you extra support. So I don't have any poles, but um, when I get to the top of the mountain, I'm definitely going to rent some, or I'm going to get that stick that you get stamped um, just for like the memory of it all. All right, guys, that is everything I am taking to Mount Fuji with me. If you found this video helpful or you simply just enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I will be sure to look at that later. I am on my way to Mount Fuji and I am so excited. If you are curious how my trip to Mount Fuji, the ultimate climb to the top goes, make sure you check out my next video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!